Hi everyone, it's Eric in the workshop again. Today's project is going to be bridge loading. Boom! This experiment is pretty fun. You could do it with all kinds of things. You could do it with rolled up newspapers, popsicle sticks, maybe even strips of cardboard. You need a hot glue gun or some other kind of glue. And you need two chairs, but it's a simple engineering experiment you can do with your kids. And it's it can be inquiry based too, because you can ask them how they might alter their design to improve the way it performs. So I'm gonna cut some material because I have that capability here. And we're gonna see what happens when you place your bridge across the two chairs, and then you put weight on top of the bridge. At some point, we're gonna load it until, kaboom, it breaks and the bridge fails because it's always fun to break some things. So um, that's the project today. So let's get started. Okay, so first things first, time to select some material. Fortunately, the lumber yard is open, my own personal lumber yard. So let's go in, let myself into the gate here. And let's take a look at what we got. Hmm. Uh, lots of nice material, some nice redwood, um, aluminum, steel. I don't think we want our bridge that strong because the goal here is to break it. I'm seeing some good redwood. I think that might be the key. So I'm gonna cut some of these redwood pieces down into thinner pieces of material. Think roughly popsicle stick approximate, you know, dimensions, but longer. So I'll get that going and uh, then we'll get to building. Okay, we are here. I'm here with my <coughs> assistant. Uh, what's your name? Ryan! Okay. That was Ryden. He's a little excited. Been in the house a lot of days. We have, in here in our laboratory, also known as the living room, we have bridge supports. Oh yeah! Ryden, do you want to demonstrate the bridge supports? Chairs! What kind of chairs are they? Kitchen chairs. Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna make some bridges. Put some weights on them. Let's do it. All right, I think what we should do is cut these to length. We already did it, we practiced, right? Yeah. So I'm gonna use this one to measure. You wanna help me squeeze? Squeeze. There we go. And it's just the same length. Yeah, these two are the same. So these are the ones we're gonna use. This is the scrap. We'll put this over here. You wanna help me put these across the supports? The chairs? Nah. That's perfect. It looks like a railroad track bridge. It does kind of. I'm gonna move the chairs a little further apart. I think. Uh oh. Yeah, we'll get them set up something like that. We have one container of quarters in this paper boat, one container of nickels, our heaviest coins that we had on hand, and we're gonna put another boat across. It looks like a railroad car. <laughs> Does everything look like a railroad something to you? All right, so first things first, let's put some weights in. Let's start with a bigger amount. And I tell you what, I might put the time lapse on for this because it, it might take a little while to get enough weight to break this. So let me pause this. at a very close point. Let's go one coin at a time, right in the middle. Maybe put one on this end. I think it's gonna go. A little more on that side. Oh no, oh no, it's slipping. 
It's slipping. We'll count how many quarters it took. How many more do you think it can take? I don't know. Oh! <laughs> So you, you want to make your own bridge. Curved. And you want to make it curved on top. Is that what you said? That's really interesting. I like that. I, I've seen those bridges before. Yeah. All right. Well, let's make that. And then I'm going to make my own so we can both make bridges. Want to help me snip? Whoa. Major beans. <laughs> All right, let's cut another piece. You need one more stick. Since the sticks didn't break the last time, I might work with the sticks we have here. You wanna help me snip? There we go. It was a little safer that time. Yeah, not like that. Okay, so Raiden built the super cool bridge. Um, do you want to just lift it up and show it to the camera, right? Whoa, that is an awesome one. I mean, what a what an interesting design. And now we're gonna add these last couple pieces. Um, so while I help Raiden with that, I'll talk about a little bit about some of the findings we had from our first experiment. So here, let me put some glue down. You can stick those on and I will share our highly scientific findings that we got. All right, go ahead and put that into position. So we were able to get 97 quarters supported by our last bridge. That was a total weight of 550 grams. That means it held 1.21 pounds, which is pretty impressive considering they were just a couple little thin sticks. I'm gonna make one for testing. We'll see if it survives. We might just run out of quarters in the process, but maybe we'll learn something about how to make it stronger. So press that help button. Daddy, wait! It's not the right length. Oh no! All right, we'll fix that. So yeah, so I'm gonna build a bridge. We're gonna test one more. We're gonna fix Raiden's awesome bridge here and meet back at the chairs. Start. Start. You ready? Good. High five. Ow. <laughs> <laughs> so now what are we gonna do? We're back. That's a great question. Do you wanna show your bridge? It's really awesome. Uh, can we break it? No. no. <laughs> okay, so this Mine. one, this one we won't break. But uh, but yeah. I built this one, right? Yeah, and he's gonna, and and my dad is gonna break his. Well, what do you what do you think of mine? What do you think about it? It looks pretty. It looks pretty stableish to not break. So it won't break, obviously. Okay. Well, I'm gonna give it one more advantage. These silicone pot holder thingies are gonna be my supports. Where are they forcing, Daddy? Well, they're, that's a great question. Yeah. I was thinking that they'd make it like grip the chair so that it wouldn't slide as much. But then, do you see what else I did? Yeah. I added these braces. And what shape are they? A triangle. Is that is that because we think that's a strong shape? Yeah. Yeah? A it's triangle? not really gonna break it though, because it makes it okay. It feels pretty stiff from the top. You wanna you wanna do the honors and put a, a paper boat on there so we can start putting weight on it? Why don't you start with some paper boats if you wanna do one someday? <laughs> All right, put the paper boat on the bridge, please. And then you make your own bridge or you just take two pieces of wood. Or if All you right. don't have one, Let's put it right in the middle. Vent your own and then get <laughs> any of these and then just fill them up. All right, 
So I'm, I think we can put the whole tray of quarters on it won't break. So I'm just gonna carefully set it in the other tray. Whoa, look at that. It's already done way more than the first one, right? Uh-huh. Now, I'm gonna put all the nickels. Inside? I'll slide it over, we'll put it next to it. Oh, well, that gets a little more when it's further out between my, when it's right on top of this, that's very stable. Okay, let's stack them, let's see what that. I wouldn't put your head under there because we don't know what's gonna happen. Oh, it's not gonna fall. It's not breaking, is it? Yeah, I told you. Well, I have one more trick up my sleeve. <gasps> I have this box of heavy metal things. Oh, yeah, try that, try that. This could get dicey. So I need you to, why don't you sit back here? Can I, I don't want, one? Well, do you want to see how heavy this is? Here, lift it. <gasps> <laughs> it's pretty heavy. Here, let's, let's take, here, take the coins. It's all right. Let's take, take the, the coins, coins off. off. They're very big. And then I'm going to just put this whole box on. Let me see what happened. Oh. Maybe we need more. Oh, boxes. it's. We need more boxes. Okay. If, on, if we don't break off. it with this, we're going to have to get different weights. We might have to move this experiment outside. But let, let, I'm gonna put these on top. Of the box. No, stand back, stand back. Don't touch the chair. Okay. Okay, don't touch the chair. Stand back. I don't want the b bumping to to. Okay, here goes the quarters. Wow! Look at that. Yeah. <laughs> it's surviving. All right. Okay, so we're, we'll still try to break this, but I think we're gonna have to move this to. Uh, uh, when the sun is out, uh, it's a little cloudy out. So, all right, Rye, are you ready? What What are we doing? We're breaking a bridge. Breaking a bridge. It's well, like, let's see. So, bricks. so we found out last time that this bridge held eight point four pounds. I weighed all the metal stuff we put on it. Yeah. And so that's pretty strong. That's quite a bit more than just the sticks, yeah. which we did yeah. first, right? Yeah, even the bricks. Yeah, so the bricks weigh five pounds. Yeah. So should we start with one? Yeah, let's start with one again. Okay, one brick. What's gonna happen? I don't know. It stays. Oh. So Maybe now we- Should we put another brick? Should we put another or should we put coins instead? How about bricks? Okay, yeah. well, since it held 8.4 pounds, let's try 10 pounds and see what happens. All right, are you ready? Yeah. Two bricks in, let's do a countdown. In three, two, two one. one. Oh. <laughs> oh, he broke this part. Oh, let's, let's, let's take a look at what happened here. Oh, I said, wait, 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 wait. It's kind of interesting though, huh? Look, it didn't break where the where this is. That was the strongest part. It, the brick, I think, tipped over and it broke. Yeah, and then it broke that part of the bridge. So uh, how do you think we could make the bridge stronger next time? More braces? Yeah. I think that's a good idea. Well, anyway, that was a fun experiment. So, um... Goodbye, everyone. Goodbye. We'll regroup in the workshop. Yep. We will. Oh, hey everyone. Welcome back to the workshop. That was a really fun experiment. And uh, let's just go over some of the findings again. So the, the first bridge experiment, which was just the two sticks across the chair, we were able to get 97 quarters on those sticks before failure and again that worked out to be about 550 grams or 1.21 pounds. We actually ran that experiment twice. One of the times one of the sticks actually snapped and broke. The second time the stick slipped and curved and failed in that way. It was the slipping on our bridge supports, the chairs, that that prompted me to try using the silicone potholders to to reinforce the the bridge abutments, the supports, if you will. 
So we were trying different things. Now, an activity like this uh, could be run as, as an inquiry-based activity, as I said before, for a variety of age ranges. My assistant was five, so I had to kind of tailor it for him. But I think it was fun and impactful. I've heard him talk a lot about it, so I, I think that it left an impression and he learned something. So just an example of something you can do at home and we're gonna keep doing projects like this and posting them up. So thanks again for watching. Please help us keep creating science exhibits and zoo programs you can enjoy at home with a donation today. Again, that link is below. Thanks for chipping in and uh, we'll see you again soon. Take care.